Hey guys, welcome back to The Binger. Stranger Things Season 3 is just around the corner, scheduled for a July 4th release. The Netflix original is one of the best shows to grace our screens in recent years. As the show has grown, so have the complex characters and the intense thrills. What exactly is going to happen in Season 3 though? Join us as we take a look. The Interstellar Child cast is the driving force of the show. They've won countless awards and frankly without them, the whole thing would be complete trash. Millie Bobby Brown and the rest of the gang were around 11 years old when the series started filming. As the years have rolled by, we're now into season 3 and surprise surprise, the kids have gotten older too. There was a time jump between seasons 1 and 2 and there will definitely be another one. Don't expect season 3 to pick up exactly where season 2 left off. While it's great for the story, it's actually a necessity. Teens, young teens especially, grow at a fast rate. The Duffer Brothers told The Hollywood Reporter in 2017 that they don't really have a choice when it comes to the time frame. Production can only go so fast, but the cast is growing up. It wouldn't look right on screen to have the gang be exactly where they were at the end of season 2. So, we know there's going to be a time leap. The trailer released on December 31st last year seems to indicate that this season is going to take place during the summer of 1985. And boy, what a summer it's set to be. It's unlikely to break many hearts, but Billy, the tearaway sadistic teen, could meet his fate this season. The trailer shows Billy strutting his stuff around the pool in summer as thirsty moms look on in appreciation. It's kinda creepy, but maybe bored 80s housewives were into that whole Lost Boys look. He's wearing a lifeguard uniform and he's on duty to protect Hawkins Pool from that pesky water. That's a worry in and of itself, seeing as he's usually the inflictor of pain and not a savior. So from that short snippet that we see of him in the teaser, we know he's around and we know what he's doing. The third episode of this season is called The Case of the Missing Lifeguard. This could indicate that Steve disappears in some weird and unusual way, lest we forget Barb's peril in Steve Harrington's pool. Water comes with a risk in Hawkins. Or it could be pointing to one of Steve's co-workers. After all, he's not the kind of guy that would settle a dispute calmly and quietly. The Duffer brothers have admitted that Billy was initially supposed to have a much larger role in season 2. However, because of time constraints, they had to cut it down a little. Some storylines were pushed forward into the approaching season, one including a supernatural team. Hmm, coincidence? As far as television series go, Stranger Things reads a lot like a Stephen King novel. In fact, the entire aesthetic of the show had a lot of people thinking that it was based on a King book at first. The Duffer brothers have readily admitted that they were going for that kind of vibe, and it paid off. It could have been a cheap imitation, but the show has managed to stand proudly among the greats. The cast and crew are contractually bound from giving away too much, but they have confirmed some things. One big theme has been touched upon in more than one interview. According to Natalia Dyer, aka Nancy Wheeler, this season is bigger darker and scarier. That's saying something. Noah Schnapp, the boy who plays Will, added more fuel to the fire, telling MTV News that it gets bad. Producers and writers have made a point of pushing the show to new limits each season. We can expect that to continue as the show ages like a fine wine. Expect to be bombarded with more gross visuals and edge of your seat tension. Season 2 introduced some intriguing new characters. Billy the Bully served as a great antagonist, and really the new Steve Harrington since Harrington turned over a new leaf. Aside from the Mind Flayer, he was one of the big baddies that the gang went up against. On the flip side, Lucas' sister Erica was a firm fan favorite. Although she didn't have an enormous part to play, the youngster hit all the right notes. Actress Priya Ferguson turned in a 5 star performance as the sassy little youngster. It's only natural that we all want more. Writers felt that too. Ross Duffer said that the team all agreed that they needed to utilize the character more moving into Season 3. While they were filming Season 2, they all tried to get her more screen time. And they did, to an extent. But we can all agree that Erica has more to give. Don't be surprised if she has a much bigger role to play this time around. Lucas might not be happy about it, but hey, that's life. Although shopping malls have been around since the mid-50s, they peaked in the 80s. There was nothing quite like spending a day browsing the stores. 
Of course, this was before the age of the internet. Now everything is just a click away and you can get anything delivered within 24 hours. It's awesome. As malls were such a staple part of 80s culture, it only makes sense that the Duffer Brothers pay homage to it in Season 3. In July of 2018, Netflix dropped a teaser trailer that was an advertisement for the new Starcourt Mall coming to Hawkins. Instantly, fans wondered if this new location would see some action. In all likelihood, yeah, it will. There's no reason for it to be teased if it's not involved in some way, right? Ross Duffer has previously admitted that the aesthetic for this season is going to be lighter. He said, It's going to feel very different. Everyone is going to this new mall, seeing movies, and of course, the Hawkins Pool is open for business. I think there will be a sense of fun and joy. Fun and joy. We haven't seen a lot of that in the past two seasons, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. This one sort of goes without saying, but we're exploring every avenue here. At the end of season two, Mike and the gang think that they've defeated the Mind Flayer once and for all. Audiences know that this isn't the case, as we see it's still in the Upside Down. In a really striking scene, the huge, spidey-looking thing looms over the school. It's super tense and disturbing, which is what Stranger Things does best. Given that last scene, it's pretty certain that we can expect to see more from the Mind Flayer. It's the ultimate baddie, so we're excited to see what the creature can do next. Excited and a little nervous for our favorite Hawkins kids. But every good series has that sort of tension. The ending of season 2 was scrupulously thought out by writers, according to executive producer Dan Cohen. Cohen told TV Guide that although the team toyed with different ideas, that final scene was a very strong, lyrical ending. Without giving too much away, he went on to say that it allowed them to focus on where they wanted to go with season 3. If that isn't confirmation, then we don't know what is. As much as we love the tried and tested characters, there's always room for something new. Fans totally trust the Duffer Brothers, and that's because they haven't steered us wrong so far. It was confirmed that Carrie Elwes and Jake Busey have signed on to star in the new series as of the upcoming season. 56-year-old Elwes is best known for his roles in The Princess Bride and Robin Hood Men in Tights. He's done a host of other projects over the course of his decades-long career, too. Elwes is set to play the part of Mayor Larry Klein, a stereotypical arrogant politician. If his description is anything to go by, then Mayor Klein's major concern is what he looks like in a suit. Trivial matters like the governing of a town or just a side note. Oh, there's room for someone like him in the series. Given his comedic timing and incredible experience, Elwes is the perfect person to bring Klein to life. Busey starred as Ace in 1997 Starship Troopers, and he played Aiden Tanner in From Dust Till Dawn the series. His character is a corrupt guy called Bruce, a journalist for the Hawkins Post. Both of these dudes should slide right into Hawkins with no problem at all. They're not the only newcomers though. Earlier this year, Maya Hawk jumped on board the good ship Stranger Things too. If you think you recognize the name, it's because you probably do. Maya comes from strong acting stock as the daughter of Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. You could say she's been training for this role her entire life. Her character is pegged as an alternative girl, bored with her mundane day job. Hooper is such an awkwardly lovable character that audiences dote on. Whether he's protecting Joyce and her kids or being a dad to Eleven, there's not much he can do wrong. Actor David Harbour told TV Guide that his character is in for some big changes this season. Relax, he's not going to the dark side or anything like that, but he'll definitely be branching out. Until now, Hopper has remained a largely solitary creature. Besides helping out Eleven, he doesn't have much of a family to speak of. Ever since the beginning of the show, we've all wondered if something was going to develop between him and Joyce. They've known each other since high school, so they have a lot of history there. Harbour says that Hooper will be taking risks with new languages of intimacy and vulnerability. The actor goes on to confess that his character has needs that haven't been fully explored before. If that doesn't point towards romance, then what does? Of course, we don't know if Joyce will be the lucky lady or if someone else is going to turn up. We all hope that it's Joyce though, don't we? Those two just seem to fit together. Plus, they've got a lot in common. It's not every day that you fight deplorable otherworldly creatures with someone. Unless you're waiting in line for the DMV, that is. 
Before we launch into this one, it's important to mention that this is pure speculation. However, there are a few eagle-eyed fans out there that surmise one character's fate might be uncertain. Surprisingly, we're talking about the leader of the pack, Mike. When making a series like this, the emotional investment of the audience is paramount. If we don't care about the characters, we don't care about the show. In this case, we want all these kids to be safe and for the upside down to just disappear. But that doesn't make for a good show, now does it? Up until now, all of our- what if it's time for one of them to finally succumb to one of the big nasty things? Some people think that Mike might end up on the chopping block because of actor Finn Wolfhard's success. Outside of the series, Wolfhard has been doing well for himself. He was part of the cast of IT and is going to be returning for the sequel. His band just signed a record deal and he's still making other movies. This kid is a hot commodity. While the rest of the cast is undeniably talented, Finn seems to be working more than the rest. With that being said, he might not have a whole lot of time for the series in the future. If writers do plan on getting rid of one of the characters, then common sense dictates it's him. Gossip site Digital Spy also makes a good point. Eleven on a vengeful rampage would make for incredible viewing. What do you think? Do you know something that we don't? Sound off in the comment section down below. Before you go though, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us. Until next time guys, thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next video.